Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. What a joy it is to uh, meet every day and uh, look at God's Word and study God's Word together. Um, the last six days we've been looking at this topic, God imitators. We saw how we are called to imitate Him. He is not insecure. He's not threatened in any way. In fact, He welcomes us to be like Him, to walk like Him. Uh, Ephesians 5 and verse 1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children. And we've been looking at various ways by which we can imitate Him, the various things that we can imitate about God. And uh, today we are looking at one other aspect that we are called to imitate His prayer life, His intimacy with the Father. So we are called to be God imitators in His prayer life. Let's look at Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. It says, Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. So we look at the Lord Jesus and we see the kind of uh, communion that he had with the Heavenly Father. So it says here that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. He spent extended amounts of time. It was the whole night that he spent in prayer to God, communing with Him, uh, pouring out his heart to Him, receiving the heart of the Father. And, uh, and I'm sure, you know, uh, power and revelation and, uh, and, and a whole lot of other things he was receiving in, in that night of prayer. So we are called to be like Him, spend extended times, uh, even whole nights in prayer. And secondly, we see in John chapter 5, verses 19 and 20, Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. So the second thing we can, we can see is that the Lord Jesus did whatever He saw the Father do. In other words, He saw the Father, His focus was on the Father. And whatever He saw the Father do, He did. In fact, it says here, it says here and what He sees the Father do, for whatever He does, the Son also does in like manner. In a way, we see that He was imitating the Father. As the Son imitated the Father, so also we as His sons and daughters, we are called to imitate Him. So our focus, our communion, our focus is on Him, is on the Father, is on what the Lord did. And thirdly, we read Mark chapter 1 and verse 35. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, He went out and departed to a solitary place and there He prayed. So we see that um, at the start of the day, at the start of his uh, ministry or his time, he started by spending the day, spending that time with the Father. So it was a long time before daylight, he arose, he went to a solitary place and there he prayed. So he spent whole nights, extended times in prayer, he was communing constantly with the Father. Whatever he saw the Father, that is what he did. And he started his work day or ministry day, spending time with the Father. So even so, you know, ourselves, we are called to imitate and walk like him, just like he prayed, just like he spent time with the Father. So let's pray and ask God to give us this privilege to 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 give us, to inculcate this discipline in us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you've invited us to be God imitators. Lord, even as you saw the Father and you did what you saw the Father do, and even so you've called us, Lord, to see you and to do uh, what you've called us to do, God. And what see you what um, and, and then do what you do, God. Father God, we thank you. May our prayer lives be like how it was with, with you and how it was for you. Maybe time, ex maybe spend extended times, maybe have constant communion and let our focus be on you. And Lord, we pray that we will take, our, take time out and start our work days, spending quality time with you in prayer. 
We thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.